So for today, we're going to be looking at the first Ascent armor set for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the armor and done the shader video. They're both right here. Definitely check them out. I do explain how to get the armor, but just quickly, uh, just complete the Micah 10 missions after you're done with the campaign. Uh, just complete all the missions she has. She'll eventually start trickling the armor each piece by piece. And then after that, you're able to get all of the armor. Once you get all the armor, it actually unlocks for all of the classes. So you just have to do the one time. And then after that, you can start having fun. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub. If you guys find value in this content, again, liking, comment, subscribing, that really does help a lot. So let me know what you guys think. Other than that, Let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet. And for this one, I genuinely surprised me because I'm using Orpheus Riggs base look, which is completely weird for me. I usually like the ornaments a lot more. But for this one, we're going to be looking at Pathfinder grips for the arms, Dark Age harness for the chest piece, and then Dark Age cloak for the cloak. So this one was more of a snowy hunter vibe. I Like I said, I don't know why I'm using Orpheus Rig base look. But I definitely think it looks cool with this whole set. For the shadering, Gift of the Nine was an easy choice because, yes, there are shaders that give you an all white. I didn't want an all white just because I feel like the black really gives it much more life, if that makes any sense. Uh, like, if it was all pure white, I feel like that would have looked a little bit boring. So I do like the, the black that's in here because it just it makes it pop more. In instead of the just all white so let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next set this is also a almost I, so in my head this isn't like a snowy look considering i'm using all green this is more like a forest thing like a like a mountain hunter type of thing uh specifically because we're using the uh the frosty's ornaments uh 8000 er i like this ornament a lot and we're gonna be using the chest piece and the arms for the first ascent for the helmet omni oculus mask so that way i can take off the exodus down cloak specifically the the hood because the hood has orange lines that don't change color and i think this set looks amazing i will say i think it looks better for the male hunters rather than the females females look a little weird with this set but hunters for males i think it looks amazing for the shading unsated curiosity is what we're using i love this shader this shader is a banger I don't know where I got this shader. I think it, it's from this season, but I don't remember where it came from. I think it came from first week of Eververse, if I'm being honest. And yeah, if you guys missed this shader out, just remember to uh, watch my Tuesday. Well, usually it's Wednesday videos where I showcase what is up for the week. So we go through 801 Banshee, not Banshee. We go through 801 challenges and Eververse. That's what we usually go through. So. That way you guys are aware of what's going on during the week. And I also usually showcase that during the last call video as well, which I'm going to be doing or I've already done the last call for this week, <clears throat> which I don't know when I'm posting this. So this might not even be important to you guys. But either way, I like this set a lot. It's probably one of my favorite sets right now just because of how cool it looks. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're going to be using the boots from the first descent. And for the exotic, we're going to be using the sir correct whatever this exotics called with the european scout visor so this one is also kind of so it's weird because obviously i'm going to go for tactical looks for this set because it does give that vibe off and i think this one is cool uh i will say the males i think look a little bit better i think the females just look weird for the arms just look a little too thin but for the shadering sato tribe is what we're going for specifically because diamonds born vest is annoying to shader and you can even see it with this shader and you guys will notice that like the left side of the chest piece has that blue which you don't see it in everything else the chest piece takes off colors for the main like flap so that's really annoying uh siege breaker uh, siege breaker grips for the arms and then limitless diversion cloak for the cloak so i like this one um <clears throat> i don't know if i will have it in the back of my pocket for europan scout visor um i do like the boots the boots definitely i can see myself utilizing for other sets but I think this might be the weakest set so far. Let me know what you guys think. And then last but not least, we're gonna be using the new exotic with the new sincerity ornament on it. Expect to see this in the exotic video because the exotics got all of the new ornaments. So I like this one a lot. Uh, it's called gifted something. I don't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but let me see real quick. Gifted conviction is what it's called. And I like this exotic a lot. Uh, that being said, it's not great for like high-end content at least in my opinion but it is fun which is 
I guess important as well. For the helmet, Eidolon Pursuant Mask. For the chest piece, uh, obviously Sincerity. For the arms, Diamond Sworn Grips. For the boots, Vicarian Strides. And then for the actual First Ascent piece, we're using the cloak. So I like this set a lot. For the shadering, Omnicronia specifically because Vicarian Strides, uh, or actually, Vicarian Strides and Diamond Sworn Grips takes off colors. And Sincerity takes the main colors. So that's why I'm using... Uh, Omnicronia. You can use other colors that combine the sh uh, the colors into one color. Specifically, uh, Dreaming Spectrum is a good example. Um, <clears throat> there is another one, but they kind of fucked it up, and I do want to make a video on that because they they fucked up a few shaders that I really like. Um, and Eidolon Pursuant also takes off colors, but it takes a really bad color. You guys, if if you guys notice it when it's turning, you guys will see that the like not visor, but like the eye plate thing. Not the glow, but around the eyes, it's like a white, which is really, really weird. But overall, I like this set. I like it quite a bit, actually. I would probably just switch out Dreaming Spectrum because Dreaming Spectrum is a better shader, in my opinion. Um, or at least it would be a better shader for, for this set specifically. But yeah, I think this one would be my favorite just because all of the pieces look really, really amazing. I don't think male or female, they, they look good either way. I will say the males look a lot better just because the arms look way bigger. But that's just a female problem that hunters go through but overall let me know what you guys think i really had a lot of fun doing these <clears throat> for the hunters just because i kind of already knew what i wanted to do tactical sets was an easy choice for me considering that's my favorite look to do and titans i had a lot of fun with yours as well make sure to keep up to date with my content because that is going to be coming up next so again let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later